I've told you that whenever you have a dynamical system, you should immediately look for Poincaré section. Usually, finding a Poincaré section is a dark art to do this, that, and try to make it transverse. But in billiards, they're very beautiful because Poincaré section is unique and obvious. I mean, maybe not unique, but there is one Poincaré section that's obvious. <coughs> there is a wall of the billiard. So that we can parameterize by some length s, let's say. Because it's usually some curvilinear in there wall, so there's a length. And at the point of impact, I have parallel momentum. Which I'll just call P then. And because the velocity of vector is 1, I know what the transverse momentum is. So I have to specify only one component of the momentum. So the Poincaré section is two-dimensional. And in this particular case, I can try to draw it in three dimensions. Um, <clears throat> I can draw it like some kind of cylinder. Where in this dimension, we move along the perimeter. And uh, in this dimension, we move along the parallel momentum, P. And the way that I've constructed my problem by setting velocity equal to 1, mass equal to 1, that goes from 1, minus 1 to 1. So in this case, Poincaré section is a co connected two-dimensional, you know, uh, you could make it a cylinder if you want to, you could draw it, in which one direction you move, uh, you measure the length, meaning where you are. So for example, this point here is someplace over there. But this point has outgoing momentum that's pointing in an opposite direction than the direction of the boundary. So, so this point is on the back wall, you know, someplace behind. Well, uh, you know, if I send the ball out this way, someplace here on the front sheet, can you visualize that? Yeah, so the section is a two-dimensional surface of the cylinder, and if we know where we started, and we know the parallel momentum, we know the two-dimensional velocity, and from that we know entire orbit. If we study that unique specification. So even though the billiard is in four-dimensional phase space, there is a natural Poincaré section in which dynamics is extremely simple. So now the Poincaré map dynamics looks something like that. I start here and I just move until I hit the wall again. So that will happen. You know, I start here and next time, so this is my uh, S and why did you let me do this? Okay. So <clears throat> while I'm bouncing in this space, I also move on Poincaré section and every time I hit the wall, I record it where it is. So, you know, I start here, and uh, my dynamical systems map F going one step forward, Poincaré section coordinate parallel momentum. So, position. The vertical axis is the parallel momentum, and I draw the weird shape because I just 
I just put the, you know, out of the board, I put the second coordinate and then I turn a little bit sideways for your pleasure to watch it. Yeah, so if I have a collision like this, a grazing collision, then P equals 1. If I have a normal collision, I come in and come out. So normal collisions would be on this line. Mm -hmm. The grazing collisions would be at the two edges, depending if I'm going this way or the other way. Of course, when we really do this, you know, we don't draw this picture, but we actually just <coughs> draw a rectangle, yeah. uh, which has coordinate S going from zero to the length of the perimeter, so this is length, if you wish, L is the length of the perimeter. And uh, here we have minus one to one for the par parallel momentum. So we just draw it as a little rectangle, and then we study the dynamics instead of looking at the billiard, we study just as how, how the points hop around here. Now you don't appreciate it, but if you run this billiard, so by the way, I gave you an exercise which is, you know, writing the simulation for this billiard. Now I don't mind if you don't do it because, you know, it's okay. I mean, uh, for us it's a conceptual tool, this billiard, you know, we really will not be predicting important things with it. So there are a few packages that work, you know, on Chaos Book Extra, so use that if it makes you happier. Draw it by hand, but it's not very hard to code it, so maybe you just want to code it anyhow. But it's very instructive. And the point will be that you don't appreciate it now, but if I look down, you know, as I play pool, uh, if I look down on the table, this will be arbitrarily complicated. Now, I take any trajectory, it's just going to go all over the place, it's going to be really hard to figure anything out with this trajectory. Why? Because it's a four-dimensional phase space, and you're being done, you're looking at projection of the four-dimensional thing in some arbitrary plane. You know, to you it seems very natural because you chose these coordinates uh, to be your table, but actually you can't figure anything out. Now, when you do it on Poincaré section, you will be only studying transverse motion of the billiard, something that you can visualize here. And you will see stable, unstable manifold. Uh, your Jacobians will give you lots of information and you will actually see what's going on. So going from this representation, which is very intuitive, if you play pool, to a Poincaré section representation will turn out to be very powerful.